So Hasbro CEO Brian Goldner attended the 35th annual Bernstein Strategic Decision Conference in New York. What is that exactly? Well, it's a place that pretty much all big brands and big companies go to get together and talk about what is going to be the future of their company for investors and or otherwise, specifically uh, right now with the large uh, growth of the Chinese market. So pretty much Brian talked about what's going to be happening with Boulder Media and how they're going to be building a, a new animation studio there. Mm -hmm. But the big stuff that he brought up was, you know, the, for the fandom that, that matters is certain key, key numbers and key dates of the future of some of the other uh, fictional related stuff. Now he already brought up how uh, the Bumblebee movie is is having a huge home uh, movie blitz initiative. We've already gone through that already. The Bumblebee movie has already been out in retail and stuff. And he just brought up stuff like, well, Walmart's going to have a special exclusive, which will have a, a comic book in it. That stuff, as as of this recording, is all out there right now. So if you're listening to this, uh, as of what are we? in early June. Um, it's, you know, just if you go out right now and go to Walmart, you could pick up an exclusive special edition Bumblebee, the movie, which has a comic book and has a big, dis supposedly will still have a big display. I don't know if uh, anymore, but he was talking about this as if this was something coming up. He also mentions the new season of Transformers Rescue Bots Academy. That's going to be making its debut on the discovery family channel. Mm. Um, I guess because we don't got a hub right now, so that's where it's going to be available for the time being. And also they don't, uh, you know, like I guess because we're in Canada, we do, we would assume it would be on like Treehouse or... Yeah, uh, YTV, or, um, YTV Treehouse, I believe it is. Yeah, yeah. If, it, if that's still around. Yeah, it, it is, is, it is, it is. Oh, okay. Um, and the last thing, and this is the most important one, after we've kind of had a little bit of radio silence on it for the past couple of months now is uh, 2019 fall, we're going to have uh, Transformers Cyberverse Chapter 2, a.k.a. Season 2, The Power of the Spark, which will be on Cartoon Network and on YouTube, which is something which I've appreciated that they've been doing is posting it more and more on YouTube now. Yeah. Uh, makes it a lot easier for a lot of people because I'm not one of those people that, uh, I mean, to be real, I haven't really watched Transformer shows on television in real time since Armada. Mm. And that's that's like almost 19 years ago. Yeah, yeah. I kind of skipped Armada. And I think when we had animated, I tried to watch it. I tried to watch it on TV just to support it, you know, just to give it that the ratings. time of day that it yeah. really, really needed. But uh, it was always very difficult, you know. Well, it, but it, at least it's now it's more convenient for us. That's the thing I kind of dig. It's it's them recognizing that there's a there's a better way to gauge the popularity of a TV show um, with the modern audience because mm. the I mean the reality is is that with Robots in Disguise when that came out on Fox back in two thousand two thousand one uh, the ratings weren't that good and pretty much Hasbro attributed to the fact that this was the early days of Torrance and the early days right. of a direct connect was another, like it was like a Napster, if you will, for, for the youngins that don't know what I'm talking about. It was a, you know, file sharing program pretty much. And so a lot of people got their fix way before it even made it to television. Uh, for people who are anime fans, a lot of people blame uh, the same problem for Naruto with its mm. America. Naruto was a humongous success in the anime world, but when it was brought over for um, American television, the ratings were non-existent because everyone got their fix online. Yeah. So it's kind of the same thing here where they're recognizing, and even within their own brand, uh, the mistakes that have existed, where people just get their fix online. Like, I mean, I love uh, Transformers Animated, but I think I've only seen one episode on an actual television screen during its original airing. Everything mm -hmm. else was was done at my own leisure, whether it be downloading from you know dubious locations or otherwise, uh, just because of my own convenience. And and that evolved into today, which what we have with Netflix and and streaming services, because people just don't have the time anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, it's 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 a different story. I mean, I can't even I can't even tell you uh, when any of those shows aired at what times because I don't even really remember. Because I think the last thing I remember is. R.I.D. and I remember I came to your place early in the morning with all the toys and stuff to watch the first episode. <laughs> well, there you go, and th that's I'm trying go to remember. And that's a while. And that that's ago. before Armada. You know yeah. what I mean? That's like because I know I fell off uh, during Armada and all that. You know, I was like, ah, I'm not feeling the show. You know, I'm gonna f 
skip out on this trilogy here it wasn't really filmed. yeah the unicron trilogy but but that's just it like i mean beast wars i i could remember as clear as day when the new episodes air, new episodes aired on ytv which was like wednesday at eight you know like i'll mm. never i'll never forget that and then when it went into reruns they played it uh, even later every day in the evenings um but when it comes to like modern stuff it's a different era we, we you know adult fans don't have as much time and kids are so overstimulated with everything including their cell phones and social media that to get their eyes during you know during a box of time is very difficult so i'm glad that they recognize that and are making a, a stronger effort for that because it's it's going to be the best way for them to gauge stuff because if 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 they did it the traditional way and they go, wow, ratings are down, but imagine if just everyone was downloading it. Yeah. Then you'd have all these people that are enjoying it, but they don't have any indicator outside of toy sales. And that's not always the best way to measure the success of something. I know that back in the day, uh, Teen Titans was another good example. And uh, what was the one that came after Teen Titans? Uh, Young Justice. Uh, both those shows... Yeah suffered heavily because they said oh toy sales aren't good so people aren't watching it when it was quite the opposite <laughs> so weird yeah, everyone's well, watching it but not it, but like, it everyone's was, like oh we got to watch it on tv and da, 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 and it's like oh well the toy sales aren't good so cancel well because it. because like, that was from you know it was it only feels like a couple of years ago but that was just a different era they just there was again that pre-netflix era they just they didn't know that there was a whole audience that just didn't have the time Spe- especially the adults who are consuming the media you know kids have a little more time but adults you know when when you come yeah, time's very limited when you you know you work a nine to five you yeah. know and then when you come home you go if, 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 if you're and if you don't work a nine to five and you come home a little bit later than that yeah know. then it's 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 just you're not gonna you're not gonna pick up a majority of this quote kids-based media that you consume it's just you know those hours don't exist and if you have a weekend job so forget you know the traditional saturday mornings you know and every everyone wants something 24 7 so everyone has different shifts you know it's not the yeah. it's not the same well, th- as it was and, you and know? this is good this is good this is this is really the first time hasbro has made this initiative and i think that you know they, they started doing it with some of their other programs and stuff like that initially um like i know that like when they had some older episodes of gem and stuff they were putting it on their their youtube channel but this is nice to see new media, new stuff um, that's available for people to, and and I'm glad that they've done it too because I feel that in the past people were always wary to put stuff on YouTube, especially new media, because well we got to think about DVD sales because mm-hmm. otherwise people are just going to be ripping it here. But then of course, what is DVD sales today in the modern era? Well, one thing I do hope that they do is that they do make DVDs, they do make Blu-rays because we don't want something that happens with like Machinima. And then all of that uh, content Cybertron is gone. Trilogy that is just it's it's gone, but it's in limbo, and you can't really access it. You can't really get to it. Like there still needs to be some physical media. There still has to be. I feel for like you know you put it in the um, in libraries and stuff like that. You know for archival purposes and et well, cetera, et cetera. And and the crazy thing is, and, at least- you know, and, and they could just take the model from I think Amazon has a model or some play, uh, some like I think uh, what is it called. Warner Brothers has a model where if people want it, then they will print it as people want it kind of thing. Made so to demand pretty sad- much. Yeah, so sadly, uh, the packaging might not be amazing. There might be amazing things on the packaging, but at least you get it, you know, an official copy of it. Well, I know going back to Robots in Disguise and its its uh, ratings not being so good and for Hasbro getting kind of, di- you know, di- you know di- dissuaded from it and also mm-hmm. Fox being like, hey, you know, like Beast Machines did okay. Why didn't this do well? This is supposed to be the return to vehicles. Um, the toys did sold well, but for some reason the 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 ratings weren't well. But again, b- people were downloading it. And the mm-hmm. crazy thing is, is during that time, and still to this day, for for our region of DVDs and Blu-rays, it is the only Transformer series that has never had DVDs or Blu-rays or even Which V8. One? Uh, Robots in Disguise. Ah, oh. it is the only one. Well, isn't that because of uh, licensing issues? Well, now and stuff like that? now it's because of licensing issues. Uh. Back then, during that time, you know, when everything is fresh, I'm pretty sure because the licensing issues is as uh, Haim Saban and everything. Mm-hmm. But back then, I'm pretty sure something could have been worked out as it was rolling out. No pun intended. But <laughs> it's just, I think that as time progressed, they're just like you know, they look back now and go, eh. Is it you know it's not the new hotness anymore? What's the point of like throwing money at Haim Saban? 
you know, it's it's a whole yeah. different story. But uh, who knows? The funny thing is, is other regions. I know that um, the European region they ended up getting DVDs and stuff. But again, it's a whole different animal over there. Yeah. Um, I know it's the same thing with uh, a lot of the Marvel and DC, uh, the old TV series. Is they have like perfect DVD box sets. Where here, it's like, oh, an episode's missing here because a certain actor, you know, didn't doesn't you know get his pay or something. It's 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 a whole different limbo. Um, but yeah, that being said, like this is cool. So now we know at least Cyberverse Chapter Two is coming. We ha- we know that's gonna be fall 2019, and we'll be able to consume it on YouTube and see it as it's coming out. So be sure to keep uh, on top of that. And I know we will because it was a pretty good series. Toys uh, have been eh, but uh, the show has been good. So let's definitely keep an eye on that. One one thing I'm a little bit interested in is that uh, I guess for this one for Transformers. Uh, Cyberverse Power of the Spark, the image that they use is definitely one of the newer toys that they've been touting. So oh, yeah. that's going to be it looks interesting like, how they inc- incorporate that into the show. Which is good too because I know that um, when Transformers Prime was going into the Beast Hunters gimmick and they released all these toys that had the Beast Hunters gimmick on it mm-hmm. um, and then the show happened and only one character had it, you know, which yeah. was Optimus Prime himself. So it was kind of, you know, it was kind of sad I mean, it wasn't as like, you know, I know like with Beast Wars, like when Trans Metals was a gimmick, all the toys got Trans Metals, but only certain characters got it. But I know mm-hmm. with Transformers Prime, it was a real letdown because nobody got it. Like it was just right. Prime got the new body and all these toys that also got this Beast Hunter gimmick, they everyone just stayed in the status quo. Now, I understand that because of, you know, CG models and it's expensive to do that. But hopefully it looks like here that it's not just Optimus Prime that's going to get this power of the spark or the spark armor gimmick that, toys that we've been discussing thus far, because it looks like pretty much across the wave, everyone is going to have some kind of spark armor gimmick. Uh, hopefully it's not just Prime here. Hopefully it's everybody else. But either way, uh, I'm excited about this. It's a really good show and uh, quite enjoyable. 